This is the movie I just saw today. I want to give you my honest review of it. Hey guys, I just got done watching The Hustle, starring Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. Um, again, it's a it's a film that uh, I was excited to look at seeing because I, I really, quite frankly, think Rebel Wilson's pretty dang funny. And she actually produced this movie, The Hustle, so I was looking forward to watching it. Anyway, wanted to give you my honest review of this particular movie. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed in it. This This movie felt very much like Dirty Rotten Scoundrels from 1988, and that, that movie starred Michael Caine and also with Steve Martin. In this particular movie, it's pretty much a redo of that 1988 movie where Rebel Wilson has stepped into the Steve Martin role and Anne Hathaway has stepped into the Michael Caine role. So Anne Hathaway you know, plays this very elegant, refined, refined individual who is a con artist, and Rebel Wilson uh, is a less refined individual who's also a con artist and they eventually get together. If any of you will remember the scene in, in, in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels where there is a dinner scene where they are having dinner and Michael Caine uh, is basically talking to his brother uh, and that is Steve Martin and he's playing a special needs individual who is basically soiling himself at the dinner table. Um, we have a similar scene between Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson here, uh, but it involves a, again, a sibling that's being put in this lockup um, and and is also special needs, a almost a parallel type of type of uh, planning of the movie. Anyway, the two end up working together, and and they end up doing this, and it ends up being similar to Dirt Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. So, really, in my view, the hustle is in fact a. a re a remake of the 1988 Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Um, out of five stars, I'd give this probably three stars. Um, it's not a movie that I would go see full price. Um, and, and again, I, if you have a, a family, I would wait till this goes to a discount theater or see it on, you know, Netflix or Redbox or rent it later. So uh, I don't know that I'd pay full price for this movie or go out and take a family and spend, you know, Full price on tickets, you know, popcorn and and whatnot to go take my family to see this. That being said, also, this is not family friendly. There's a lot of crude humor, sexual humor, uh, that that really children and even early teenagers probably shouldn't be uh, exposed to. So, even though this is a rating of a PG-13, I would tell parents to be very wary of taking your children. There's a lot of sexual innuendo. Um, and it's, you know, there's a lot of strong sexual content in regards to what the uh, girls use for comedy. So I'd steer away from that. But anyway, a fun film. Rebel Wilson's hilarious. and Hathaway is, is her usual self. Um, but Rebel Wilson, obviously, is the one that really makes these movies. And she's the funny one. Again, her self-deprecating humor. Obviously, jokes about her weight and, and other things that come with seeing Rebel Wilson if you've seen any of her other movies. So anyway, a decent movie, three stars, and uh, enjoy it at a discount.